Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel with your one and only Princess Tatcha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out to find out what's the gossip about you. All right, guys, in front of you, I have three cards. Using your intuition, please pick the first card that comes into your mind. Now, I highly recommend you to also pick also other group for your own additional messages. I'll see you on your reading. Hello group number one, welcome back to the channel with me, your one and only Princess Taiche Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out what's the gossip about you. Alright, we're going to be open-minded about this reading, uh, but please know that this is not necessarily defining who you are as a person. Alright, you're picking group number one or the hand of fate. Um, if you're new here, welcome to the channel, alright? And now please be mindful that this is just general reading, so please take what resonates. But if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. What's the gossip about you, group number one? I feel that some of you experiencing something either in the collective as group number one or in your countries, it's going to be different for each one of us, you know, something that is just meant to happen you know what i mean um uh, something that is meant to happen in your generation in your life wherever you are and it's going to be different based on your location um something probably in uh you know related to um uh, you know destiny something related to a government you know that related to just the hand of faith that is just supposed to happen like that but we're going to dig deeper so that's another gossip about you like your countries or where you are living right now um you're going some sort of um maybe awakening or there's this transformation as a whole in the collective where you belong uh where you're born or where you're located right now all right Please tap me to the energy of group number one. What's the gossip about you, group number one? I've got two cards here. You have here, live playfully and with a light heart and awaken the magic of your creativity. We're talking about awakening earlier, all right? With this card, you know, with the first card here, the hand of fate, forces beyond your control intervene. Yes, there's something absolutely out, out of your control here um, that truly kind of like making you experience some sort of destiny, some sort of predetermined, um, you know, moment or like, um, something that is just meant to be or meant to happen in your life um, for some reason whatever it is that you experience it's either for you to learn something more about yourself or to truly celebrating your progress or rewards getting that fruits of your hard work or even in the moment of learning something it's gonna be it's gonna be different for each one of you it depends on where you are right now in your spiritual journey or your um you know soul journey you know some of you might experiencing the time for you to truly uh reap the benefits or getting that benefits of your hard work some of you probably still in the making process you know making with your hand manifesting with hand or truly just having the time to truly learn who you are as a person what you like and how you truly uh, think about certain things how you're giving a response you know everything related to your soul calling so if your soul being called to really care about some sort of social issue, social justice issue, or whatever it is that is happening around you, then that's meant to be. That even truly teaching you or be there to teach you a lot of things, all right? Um, another thing that I have here, it's something related to no matter how hard you try, if it's something for you, it will be for you. No matter how hard you try, if something just not meant to be for you, it's not going to be for you. All right. When it's the right time, you will have your manifestation. But when it's not the right time yet, or it's not the right time for you, then 
you will not get it. So don't think just because you haven't got the life that you want or the dream partner, you will never get it. But as long as you put the, eff the effort up there and you know, you got some sort of signals from the universe or right now you are being closed with some people or you get to know some people that already uh, have that romantic crush with you or romantic interest, then that's a sign that it's meant to be for your life, you know what I mean? So there's truly, there's forces beyond your control. So you can only control what you can control, but the outcome, the results, you know what I mean? These kind of forces that you cannot control, you just have to let it go and just accept, all right? So acceptance is one of the secrets to truly have a content life. And group number one, I feel that, you know, this is just the time for you to truly experience something that's just meant to be in your life. You know, some of you truly experiences this winning moment or about to win something, about to achieve something. Some of you experiencing a lot of people looking of your uh, looking at your social media, admiring your life, something like that. Some of you experience being called to really care about uh, environment or social issue then that's just like the forces beyond your control that intervene in your life to truly bring you to your destiny to truly teaching your soul and yourself about something that your soul wants to learn in this lifetime all right let's see here you have also here live playfully and with a life heart number 29 some of you are 29 years old or born in the 29th day of the month that's possible if not you don't have to worry about it um related to that kind of forces you know you're being forced as well to kind of go against the flow if the flow of the people the flow of the group the flow of the collective um is just like too heavy may you be the light may you be the energy may you be the playful and positive energy in the collective in your surrounding you know in your class in your group of people among the people that you surround yourself with let yourself be the one that's so playful have that light heart energy listen to the voice of your inner child so this is a calling for you to truly really care about your inner child the gossip also about you with this card is some of you truly are just getting more youth you have that vibrant youthful personality people kind of sometimes mistaken your age or they truly see that you want to enjoy your life to the fullest you know to the max and i also feel this is also a sign for you thinking about going out to a theme park reconnecting with childhood friends watching a cartoon you know what i mean uh you know have a hobbies that related to your childhood times like collecting dolls playing board games playing online games phone games you know um being fun and just watch something that fun you love being surrounded by people that giving you that positive vibes and giving you that kind of like inner childhood memories even though this is the people that you just know now or you knew these people from online or you probably watch some channel um, that truly makes you want to dream more, thinking more positive if one of that is my channel. I'm so thankful, guys, to have you in my life. Thank you for being here. Thank you to always uh, support my channel and me. All right, so that's, that's also the voice of your inner child really called you to live playfully. And some of you might go against the flow of the people, go against the flow of the group of people that kind of force you to be matured force you to just you know um, not living in a fun moment but you go against that um, maybe it disappoint for some people but it absolutely not disappoint yourself it is absolutely not disappoint your inner child voice all right because you're answering to the call you know like indulging in something that is fun for you it's going to be different for each one of us that's why i do every day something that truly make you feel fun make you feel happy and nurturing that inner child especially if you grew up in a situation or with family or with surrounding or with some sort of experiences that kind of you know brought you down being so heavy on you got bullied now this is the time for you to truly living your inner child you know pampering your inner child and living your life to the fullest all right you have here awaken the magic of your creativity number three 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 three, three could be your angel numbers um you're probably born in march or um, on the third day of the month or three 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 just your angel numbers as well very special for you um immerse yourself in the world of feelings uh, the gossip about you is people kind of feel that you are a bit sensitive right now or you feel too deeply maybe some sort of uh something happened in your life that truly really make you think more about your feelings 
something some of you are pisces here with the fish here or you have pisces in your birth chart sun moon rising jupiter mid heaven north node south node all right that's also possible but i kind of feel that with this card you know group number one that you know the gossip about you is um People cannot pay attention uh, to you even more lately um, in how you truly want to be vulnerable and expressing yourself to the fullest, all right? All right, before this, I have this card too. All right, you got that one more. Will and Surrender. All right, some of you, um, the gossip about you, you are in the middle of your manifestation or in the beginning of your manifestation. Some of you, you really want to get something. You want to get something done. Some of you born on the 13th day of the month, that possible. You are 26 years old, some of you. But with Will here, I feel that, you know, there's this great desire for you to truly make your life better, to truly, you know, enjoy new things or experiencing new things in life. And this kind of Will is actually something that will uh, make you far, go far in life. And that's the gossip about you is like people pay attention that you can uh, showing some sort of great Will power here. Now with Surrender here, some of you might feel frustrated uh, or feel a little bit stressed, stressed lately due to the fact that you cannot control uh, these forces beyond your control. But the message of this card is once you learn how to accept your situation, how to accept yourself, you will see the positive side and you, lear you will learn to grow from the lesson of it. You will learn to embrace, you know, the change. You will learn to surrender to the divine. You learn how to surrender to the forces beyond your control that truly bring you to your destiny. Me. all right so that's like the gossip about you i'm not sure what maybe some of you just break up with your um ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend or some of you just you know have that cut of games with the people that become your friends in the past or so ex-friends here or just resign from a job and kind of still try to apply to a new job but you haven't got it yet don't give up but instead just use your willpower show some sort of big effort never give up you know because that's the moment when you truly can learn about yourself but also so surrender to the divine surrender um you know to the forces beyond your control and truly learn how to dance how to enjoy your relaxed time as well you know and uh, still having that creativity or um believing in the magic of your creativity itself in you know not just creative talking about creating something but creatively accept yourself creatively enjoying your day daily all right so it's like about everyday habit and incorporate that more more daily all right here let's see here what's the gossip about you group number one you have a meadow of moments bask in the meadow of moments where presence blossoms in the simplicity of now happiness is simple find joy in life's small wonders for they hold the key to a fulfilling and contented heart yes yeah, some of you still try to get the happy moment some of you might start to realize that every day that you're you have you know it becomes big moment it becomes something that you have to appreciate it becomes your happiness because happiness is within it's when you truly accept yourself when you truly surrender and you know um uh, try to enjoy your daily life you know that's like also part of um happy moment you have here flames of passion let the flames of your passion light your way but be mindful of the fires they may ignite in your journey ignite ambition pursue desires with drive and face consequences bravely keep an open mind as answers reveal your journey i feel that some of you with that will card as well in the beginning of the reading that we discussed i feel that you truly got ambition to maybe make your life better uh, the gossip about you is like you're becoming fiery more passionate you look more sexy than before it's just some people might not like your vibe just because they feel intimidated with your fire some of you might be a uh, fire energy in your birth chart or water element i see arias leo sagittarius cancer um 
Pisces Scorpio that's possible but I kind of feel you know people kind of wants to rate you they kind of want to give you the consequence of your own passion and you have to just accept it you know what i mean not everyone gonna like you not everyone thinking that you are their cup of tea and that's fine you know group number um one that's fine if people cannot see you for who you are they cannot accept you for who you are that's fine you will find your own people all right please tap me to the energy of group number one what's the gossip about you what's the gossip about group number one please all right you have here rooster and hens number 35 some of you are 35 years old right now a change of scenery is calling embrace the adventure that awaits embrace the adventures that awaits you're like confused a bit um either following your inner child voice or confirming to the society confirming to people's expectation family expectation and or following your inner child voice following your inner voice and truly pampering yourself however you have to accept the consequences as it said pursue desires with drive and face consequences bravely so just because you follow your desire doesn't mean it comes without consequences maybe some people just don't agree with it or your family don't agree with it but you should live for yourself you should be true to yourself you should be true to your calling and truly surrender to the divine surrender to your angels god you know the universe as you will be on your journey to your destiny the hand of faith because no matter how far you go forces beyond your control intervene to bring you back to where you belong so you are right now is where where you are meant to be and the rooster and hands here also talking about you working hard towards your dreams as a rooster is very diligent animal spirit very smart someone that truly know how to get money how to get the job done you know how to provide for your family that's like the rooster some of you might have rooster as your chinese uh, zodiac that's also possible for some of you but i feel that you probably connected with animal rooster spirit here um that truly giving some sort of lessons of how you truly have to to work hard work diligent and enjoy also the result of your hard work however when you enjoying the result of your hard work when you're having fun when you're enjoying your money when you're spending to truly pampering yourself or take a break from a long work or take some sort of vacation that probably gonna go against some sort of people interest you know what i mean because their interests clash with you because maybe they don't place that kind of things the inner voice calling the inner child voice as the importance in their life but may you always follow what you're calling may you always um you know awaken the magic of your creativity and not giving up for your own desire happiness is simple happiness is just following what your heart calling happiness is just following what your soul calling yet you have to be ready yet you have to be brave of the consequences that sometimes you will invite a lot of people talk about you talk about your life choices talk about your lifestyle talk about who you are as a person no matter what you do you're not your you're not a cup of tea for everyone all right it's normal to have some people that disagree with you but it's important for you to like yourself just because other people might not validate you like you wanted them to be doesn't make you cannot validate yourself you have to validate yourself you have to love yourself all right what's the gossip about you group number one for group number one please the devil this is fiery and also capricorn and the hermit all right now i kind of feel that some of you might have um you know self-love indulging in self-love that inner voice that inner child voice is about indulging in self-love especially with the devil here and the hermit it's almost like your heart desire it's just 
you know, um, the ambition is about satisfying yourself. The ambition is about making yourself happy. Even though you have to be alone, even though you have to feel lonely, even though you have to do it alone, pursue it. Pursue their desire. Pursue your desire and be the hermit. You know what I mean? The hermit is very wise beyond their years. The hermit doesn't want to waste time anymore because the hermit learned a lot. So the gossip about you is people kind of see that you are a lone wolf. You're not afraid to be alone. You're not afraid to pursue it alone. You're not afraid to be in the group but also you're not afraid to be alone you have your own characters despite hanging out with some of people or you have a spouse but you also have your own life you have your own ambition you have your own desire you have your own activities and you have your own um you know something that you want to have exp something that you want to experience by yourself so like your own adventure your own mini adventures and sometimes it go against what the group of people think you know what i mean it go it it, it, it will go against the traditional belief you know what i mean but with the Daffel here, it reminds you to give in a little bit to your temptation, is to stand up for what you believe, is to not feel guilty when you want something more for yourself, is to not feel guilty when you want to experience big life experiences, when you want to enjoy your human experiences here, when you want to indulge in some sort of guilty pleasure, or not calling it even guilty at all, you know what I mean? And to truly learn how to um, appreciate every moment and every time of your life as just that there you are that's like your moment to shine that's like your your time to truly you know you deserve to experience it you know what i mean sometimes people live with that limiting belief thinking that they don't deserve good things in life and that's no wonder they're never experiencing good stuff they're never experiencing positive stuff because they just don't believe that they deserve it all right so let's find the gossip about you more Strength. The gossip about you is people see that you're strong, strong mentally, um, strong physically, strength, stability in this hour, endurance, stamina, I am power. People see that you are powerful. People see start of your power here. All right. Some of you probably 34 years old as well. You have here new beginning. 44, some of you in your 40s, some of you in your 30s, or you are 44 years old, or you are 34 years old, that's possible, or in your 40s, or in your 30s. Um, people truly see that you are embarking into new beginning. There is something new happening in your life right now, or about to happen in your life. So welcome this new transformation. Let this magic in my spell clear the space in which I dwell. People see how you a, a little bit change, you know, from who you were a long time ago. And this really teaching you how to fly as the butterfly, how to transform yourself um, individually um, and beautifully, you know what I mean? Um, and sensually, you're very sensual with the devil here. Some of you might have a very strong Capricorn placement as well in your birth chart, sun, moon, rising, that's possible. Uh, but yeah, new beginning, new energy, that's like a gossip about you and all eyes on you right now. All right, group number one, that's your reading for today. Please give me a thumbs up. Please like this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you want to book me for your private reading, please click the link in the description box below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye! Hello, group number two. Welcome back to the channel with your one and only Princess Taisha Jupiter. For this video, we're going to find out what's the gossip about you. You're picking group number two or the green man. The forces of nature favor you. Ooh. Right off the bat, I feel that some of you might have a very strong um, connection with the earth, earth element, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus in your birth chart, all right? Um, Sun, Moon, Rising, Jupiter, Venus, um, you know, Saturn, um, North Node, South Node, or even Mid Heaven, that's possible, or Chiron is in the earth element. Everything also, I feel that for some of you, the gossip about you is you're really concerning about um, nature, earth in general. All right. We're going to dig deeper to that card after I got some cards for you. Now, please be mindful that this is just general reading. So please take what resonates. But if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. What's the gossip about you, group number two, please? Okay, I think this card wants to come out. All right.
and you have followed the path of your soul. Do not allow anyone or anything to stop you. And you have taken new direction and be open to new experiences and the green man. Let's discuss this one by one. All right. Now with the green man here. Another thing that I feel about the gossip about you um, is the gossip about you. People realize that, you know, you're very humble. So that's the gossip about you. You have a lot to offer. You have a lot to show off. But you didn't. You didn't show off like you... Um, you know, like other people thought you're gonna show, you know what I mean? You just didn't show off. You just didn't let other people know everything about you. Even though some of you, you know, they might know about it because you posted online, but it's not all of it. You know, it's not even all of it because you got a lot to offer. You have a lot of resources here with the green man. It seems like, you know, other thing that I feel also is there's this energy of abundance yes energy of abundance in you um and and like i feel that you know um i feel that you are just try to really elevate higher than before and it's kind of giving um, the fact that, you know, not everyone truly destined to uh, be like you, all right? For some reason, the forces of Mother Gaia, the forces of the earth, the forces of nature truly favor you. If you pay attention that you got some sort of synchronicities lately or a sign um, in the nature, you know, like seeing a rainbow, um, you know, you see um, a lot of flowers, um, you got that breeze, wind on your face, and you right away kind of get that signs, especially powerful sign like rainbow. If you haven't seen that, you don't have to worry about it. Now, if you saw a rainbow lately with your own eyes all right in the sky not from the pictures online all right take that as a sign that that's the sign of synchronicities from the universe all right that's the sign from the divine that forces of nature favor you that this is the time for you to truly dig deeper to truly answering the call of your soul and to truly get involved in you know in the beauty of um of the life that life has to offer all right and follow the path of your soul you got the card of this the gossip about you is people kind of see that you're just glowing you know they see your light they see that you're beautiful you're handsome uh, and another gossip about you is you know you start to show your light you start to show your true light you start to be yourself some of you born on in february or on the second day of the month that's possible do not allow anyone or anything to stop you there is some sort of soul mission here that i feel and for some reason that soul mission is very specific it's going to be different for each one of us but for those of you that's so attracted to this group that soul mission is just for you you're picking group number two and you got two 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 here all right i shuffled this card in front of you earlier but i feel that you know follow the path of your soul um there's this soul calling you know um that really wants you to do that and it's kind of like related to your talent um, it's related to your hobbies, to what you love, and what you genuinely so interested. And 
the gossip about you is you start following your path. You start answering to that call. You start following the light. You even start to be the light. And that path is actually the path of spiritual blossoming. Take a new direction and be open to new experiences. Some of you, you're gonna get some sort of synchronicities from, um, you know, the universe, from the divine, through nature, to the forces of nature. And that truly make you realize that you are on a unique path. Some of you born on the 31st day of the month, that's possible, or 31 years old right now, or in your 30s, that's possible. And I feel that there, there's this new way of thinking, there's this new way of solving the problems. And I feel that you're not stopping at anyone. You know, no one can stop you right now. You're very unstoppable. You're very unique. Mm and truly just want to take new direction and truly be open to new experiences the gossip about you is also because it's green and green um you know there's this earthly beauty coming from you people talking about how sensual you are and i feel also with this card there's a strong indication that you might have aries or capricorn in your birth chart that's possible uh with this card and yeah you just want to follow your soul honestly you know What's the gossip about my, sorry. Please tap me to the energy of group number two. What's the gossip about my group number two? What's the gossip about my group number two? You have focus. And you have self-reflection. Number 14 and 17, some of you born on the 14th day of the month or the 17th day of the month. With focus here and self-reflection. With focus, and this is butterfly, all right? If you're attracted to group number one, please check out group number one because they got butterfly and something. Um, butterfly is the symbol of transformation. Butterfly is the symbol of deep transformation. The gossip about you is people cannot talk how different you are. Um, how different you were than you you long time ago. You know, there's new version of you emerge, and also you experiencing some sort of spiritual blossoming that was so much different than who you were maybe a year ago. There's also deep realization that you kind of want to follow some sort of path to your soul transformation. This is very strong. Um, this is a strong indication that at this point in time, your soul very attracted to learn a lot of things in order to transform itself you know um there's this energy really want to just focusing your power focusing your attention uh, focusing your energy into the things that's so important for your soul transformation now one of that is the spiritual awakening spiritual blossoming you becoming more powerful you becoming more intuitive another thing this is also probably about your talent hobbies and happiness your heart desire all right so that's also possible for this group another thing is uh, you got this card of self-reflection with this card you know um the gossip about you is you start looking yourself in the mirror sometimes you like what you see in the mirror sometimes you don't like what you see in the mirror so you just reflect back that to yourself and start to creating more healthy habit creating more um, happiness habit positive habit into your life and so then when you look into your own reflection you will like it you will love it all right um, self-reflection here also talking about how you reflect on your journey how you reflect on your own life and how truly are you just you know you're stop um, delaying the part of you that just want to do what it is that your soul wants to do you know what I mean in the past you reflect and you say to yourself that you know you always just um, give in you always just give up you're always just not trying to do your best but now it's time for you to solo your path to follow your path to follow your soul and not allowing anyone or anything to stop you and when you reflect that to yourself you truly see that you are more courageous all right that you are more adventurous that you even deserve that beautiful part of yourself and you even telling to yourself that you fight for yourself you know what i mean you fight for the things that you believe in you fight for the things that you want to have in this lifetime and that's that means that you if you don't get any support then that's fine you know what i mean
Please tap me into the energy of group number two. What's the gossip about your group number two? You have here small steps, the small wins, the small triumphs, the everyday victories. Celebrate them. They will take you there. And also steady progress. Move with deliberate care as patience and attentiveness guide you to thoughtful achievement. The gossip about you is you're slowly but surely winning the race. You know, you're just like the tortoise and the hare story, but you are the tortoise. And the forces of nature truly favoring you into winning, to truly achieving that small steps, to truly having that small victories and winning. You want something or you have more than what people thought you could have or you have more than people, um, you know, in the same circumstances like your same age, same school time, same school year, you know what I mean? Like among your peers, you bring the peer pressure, which is you. You achieve something or about to achieve something and that's going to surprise people or that giving a little bit intimidation. But that's just small step. That's just small victories compared to what you destined to have in this lifetime because forces of nature truly favoring you. You got that spiritual blossoming. When you stop, uh, you know, when you stop entertaining the BS and you following your soul path and you're not letting anyone to stop you you're unstoppable and you got that your winning time you know you got that small steady progress and you know something big was created from small things and that's you that's just like you the small wins you got that small triumphs you know people talk about you a lot and the gossip about you is you're winning something you win something absolutely people see you as the winner you know what i mean this just reminds me of the six of wands card in the tarot deck you know you got your winning time as you as much as you think that it's just small that's not like that for a lot of people people see that you win big people see that you keep winning all right but that's because the forces of nature and also the divine favor you and that's because you also follow the path of your soul you know what i mean so once you follow the path of your soul you're not going to be disappointed to yourself because you know that you tried your best you know whatever the result is that's like your destiny the gossip about group number two please gate of opportunities pass through the gate of opportunities where in new paths unfurl with boundless potential see us every minute embrace each moment with purpose for time is a precious gift on your journey of self-discovery so the butterfly here letting me know that is actually the journey of your own self-discovery all right focusing yourself to understand yourself more focusing yourself into learning about who you are as a person and gaining that power gaining that momentum all right and with this um gate of opportunities is actually like this stuff you know it's like going into the gates opening the gates and the forces this is like the door that is opening for you all right this is like the door that is opening and you're actually about to embark into some sort of great opportunities right you might not believe it or you don't believe it until you see it but you know when you believe it that's like what happened with tarot you're gonna get it that's the promise of tarot all right and with this card you know you, you're about to pass through this gate of opportunities and you might not realize that this opportunities is related to the path of your soul. So be more sensitive to the sign, the synchronicities, the message of the universe, when the universe sends through signs, uh, when you're being called to do something that's because your interest going there so let's say that you're so attracted to be an activist to speak up about some sort of social justice social cause maybe you need to work within that field you know what i mean stop going against the flow instead focusing into go inwards go into what your soul wants you to do follow the path of your soul because by you following the path of your soul you unconsciously and consciously opening the gate of opportunities more that it's in alignment that will be in alignment with your soul purpose and by the time you enjoying that by the time you have that when you reflect yourself when you see yourself in the mirror or reflect on your soul journey you will realize that you are on the right track all right what's the gossip about your group number two ice tea lean into your soul's pool and listen to its whisper to nurture yourself the gossip about you is like 
some of you you're just breaking up with your girlfriend boyfriend you just deciding to nurturing yourself um, maybe some of you go back to parents home or you need to just be with yourself some of you you need to nurture yourself you know because you feel that uh, the people around you just cannot uh, satisfy you or cannot make you happy but the happiness is within the happiness is you know um, uh, just self-reflection self-happiness and you start to realize that you start understand that even more you know so the ice tea here you becoming a cooler you becoming someone that understand you have that power to truly nurture yourself um, and truly make yourself feel comfortable at your own home which is your soul right please tap me to the energy of group number two What's the gossip about your group number two? You have temperance. With this card, I feel that, you know, the gossip about you doesn't matter what people say. It um, doesn't matter what the circus tried to dim your light. You are so patient with them. You're so patient with your journey. Yes, you might not get what you want, all of it right now but you will get it soon or you already got some of it you already got the beginning of it you will experience the full transformation of your own journey and the patient is actually the secret to follow the path of your soul and one of the soul path that your soul wants to have in this lifetime is having balance having temperance having a good balance having patient all right patient in the process that's like very important What's the gossip about you, group number two? What's the gossip about you, group number two? Page of Cups. I think... You truly just here to experience a lot of goodness, you know? You want to experience um, a lot of experience. And I feel that people might not right away thinking um, that your life is good. All right, um, but you know that you achieving a lot here. People might think at first that you have to go through a lot or you have a lot of burden, but that's not true. That's actually delayed gratification. And with this temperance card, it's actually asking you to be patient. And the gossip about you is you about to get the cups of your own honey. All right. The cups of honey, the cups of winning, the beginning of enjoying your time. And people kind of pay attention about it. People pay attention about it. What's the gossip about you, group number two? Victory, cup, yes, take this as a sign. Take this as a sign from the universe, from the divine, all right? From the forces of nature, that this is your cup of victory, cup of honey. You're holding the cup, six of cups. We're talking about that winning moment, right? We're talking about that earlier. The six of wands cup, you know? I shall celebrate and I shall rise. I will let victory make me wise. You are 35 years old or in your 30s. It is possible that people seeing that you have great potential. It is possible that people might see that you're enjoying your life. Whatever it is, you try to get your win. You are in the middle of manifestation of your own victory. Some of you might name Victor or in relationship with Victor or know someone which, which name is Victor or Victoria. Or your name is Victoria, Victor, um, that's possible. But I feel that, yes, with the Page of Cups and Victory Cup also here, this is the sign from the universe. Thank you, universe, that the gossip about you is someone thinking that you're winning here. Either you get what they want, you have what they want, or you're winning, or you're about to win, win something. All right? 
sometimes it's not all about material but it's also about spiritual blossoming feeling peace have that temperance have that balance have that confidence in yourself you know a uh, gate of opportunities more opportunities coming into your life harvest oh la la group number two you have been doing such a great job. You've been planting such a good seeds and working hard towards nurturing it, towards building your legacy, building your career, building yourself to have this own deep transformation. It doesn't matter you haven't seen it yet, but you're about to harvest something beautiful really soon. And the gossip about you is people realize that you deserve it. You know, the gossip is as the waves of the ocean are infinite, they're all talking about ocean here. The gate of opportunities is opening to the door of ocean. And the word he'll say, as the waves of the ocean are infinite, as the trees in the forest grow tall. This is the trees. This is absolutely the trees, right? Let my works now bring me to harvest. I'm ready to receive my all. You're about to receive the things that you planted, all right? Something good that you planted, something positive. Um, and for that things, you will be able to nurture yourself. You will be able to uh, pamper yourself, comfort yourself. It doesn't matter. Maybe you already have a spouse or a partner. Uh, and then it will make you able to help your family, provide for your family, uh, bring smile to your family, you know, uh, give more and, you know, uh, support your family, support your spouse, support your children, you know, man, or even supporting yourself. But one thing for sure with the green man here, the forces of nature actually in your favor so that's the pretty gossip and thank you so much for watching all right group number two that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video thanks for watching guys and i'll see you on my next video bye bye hi everyone welcome back to the channel with me your one and only princess tacha jupiter for this video we're going to find out what's the gossip about you all right you're picking here group number three or the satyr right this remind me of like um the card of the devil from the tarot deck um and what's the gossip about your group number three revelry and indulgence right off the bat the gossip about you people kind of see that you're a little bit selfish or you're more selfish than before um i think you know, part of it also because you think that you deserve all the good things that are about to happen in your life, all right? Or everything that you've been, you know, trying to make it happen. Maybe you gave a lot of effort into creating something or truly pay attention to your desire, all right? Uh, we're going to dig deeper to this card after uh, we have um, some cards first for you. All right, sorry. Please know that this is just general reading, so please take what resonates. But if you want private reading just for you, please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading. What's the gossip about your group number three, please? For my viewers, that be group number three. The love of your dragon reaches out to you. All right, very interesting. Your deepest desires constrain you. Let them go to clear your mind. So... I feel that, you know, some of you probably have horse as your Chinese zodiac, that's possible, or you are Aries Capricorn, you know, that's possible. Um, this is like the gods of the Greek and in mythology. And with this card, you know, there's this someone that truly beautiful, handsome, 
sensual so that's the gossip about you part of you that is very sensual part of you that is very beautiful that is very attractive just coming out or this energy about to come into your life that you will be more attractive you'll be more sensual than ever before if you already feel that you are sexy that you're beautiful that you're handsome it's even more like the power of it you know like you're just more attractive um and that's uh you know that's the gossip about you um, another thing also this is about mischievous energy so that's the gossip about you people sense that you're a little bit mischievous um you're a little bit more strategic than before a little bit selfish you're also someone with a great power regardless whether you have some sort of authority or not in your career or life but people sense your power you're powerful may you realize your own power um you know that you can even use your sensuality your attractiveness your beauty your handsome um, and your charm you know you're very charming basically to get what you want um and also i feel that you know the gossip about you is people tends to follow what you said you can get what you want uh, lately or it's easier for you to seduce people or seduce you know the people that you love due to this energy all right now with your deepest desires concern you some of you probably born in june or on the sixth day of the month that's possible i mean look at this they all look kind of the same you know they got similar vibes similar energy so this is synchronicity it's like this as a sign from the universe um you know that is okay for you to indulge in your own happiness indulge in the things that you love not feeling guilty in pursuing your desires all right um that's also like the gossip about you um people have some sort of secret desire about you maybe people fantasize about you or they think a lot about you that's also possible group number three all right you just make people wonder you know they got an eye of wonder about you and something about you is just always uh, sparks curiosity people are a little bit curious about you or curious even more with the way you look where you get your stuff you know uh it almost like if looks could hypnotize people that's you you're very attractive just very attractive um and you got that goddess god vibes um and you know with that card as well the message of that card to be happy means having no innermost wishes and desires it is the only way for your heart to be light and your life to be free the desire for things can prevent you from living in the moment so make a decision to relinquish this longing however there's this contradiction between the starter and your deepest desire constrain you so there's this balance energy you need to take balance so the gossip about you is you are like in between roads between you know pursuing your desire or satisfying your needs or not having desire at all you know but you tend to give in and indulge and you know once in a while that's fine that's okay so the gossip about you people now starting to see that you're being okay in indulging you know what i mean you're being okay in pursuing your desire you're being okay in you know make decision to prioritize your happiness your destiny has not forgotten you everything you wish for and are due to receive will come to you so you will get what you want in your own time you will get your wish in your own time so that's also the message of this card gratitude is like a magic key opening up the moment and leading you to freedom this card tells you group number three to cleanse your thoughts and focus on everything that you have your gifts count your blessings those you love and admire and your life work especially closely with your power animal spirit and the hummingbird which is in the picture is the hummingbird all right this power animal and your mind must be clear and free from earthly desires however with the satire here appear this is about earthly desires so having that balance having that energy to work hard and play hard having that ener energy to um you know not go to the extreme but at the same time knowing when to have fun knowing when to enjoy the hard work knowing when to take rest knowing when to indulge and not feel guilty about it all right so the gossip about you is you are someone that work hard and play harder people also see some sort of your hard work turns out to be very successful or, or 
about to be very successful or you get the result of your hard work that's also the message that i got for this group now with the love of your dragon here reaches out to you i feel that you know there's this the realm of energy that really just wants you to tell the truth to seek the truth and to truly live in your truth in the sense that you know it's been so long time that you're not pursuing your desire now it's time for you to open up to be honest with yourself to truly pursuing what your heart wants you to do to truly uh, be the love of your life some of you might have dragon as well as your uh, chinese zodiac that's possible you born in the year of dragon all right now some of you truly are connected with the dragon animal spirit you're very powerful you're very fiery some of you might have aries leo sagittarius or even a uh, libra aquarius gemini or even capricorn uh, virgo taurus that's possible now with this card with these three cards the love of your dragon inside of you there's this dragon animal spirit that is willing to love you for who you are and you just have to be honest with the dragon animal version of yourself all right with the dragon animal spirit version of yourself being honest and being stay true to yourself stay true to the calling because the realm of your truth is opening up you know people tend to see the real color of you people tend to see the real person of you and the real version of you like who you are what you like what you don't like and with this kind of card you know the, this moment is about you revealing the truth and not being afraid of telling other people showing other people um how it should be done all right so that's like that kind of energy that i got for this group and also with this card you know the love of your dragon reaches out to you in the sense that there's this deep desire that you really want to get you know with your deepest desire constrain you um, it's almost like you just want to pursue that and not waiting anymore all right and uh, maybe you are being called to wait a little bit to be patient and wait the right moment to kind of like having that delayed gratification so this group the gossip about you is how you truly try to manage that delayed gratification to truly wait um, until you know the right moment and you know the universe god the divine your angels gonna give you time for the right moment you're gonna know when it's time Time to shine you're gonna shine when it's time for you to get your blessings you're gonna get your blessings and you already blessed right now all right so start counting your blessings another gossip about you is people are paying attention to how your true color coming up how you just being honest with other people with how you feel maybe you're being more vulnerable than before or willing to be more vulnerable willing to be very honest with the people around you willing not to waste your time anymore hanging out with the people that you don't feel connected all right so that's also the gossip about you all right, let's find out more here. All right, let's see more of the cards that you have here. Please start me to the energy of group number three. What's the gossip about your group number three? You have release number 27. And patient number 36. Ah. This is like a very strong synchronicities here, right? Like there's this energy of patient coming again. You're being called truly to wait your time to shine, to not giving up. Just because you haven't seen it yet, doesn't mean that it will not be there. And release all the things that just not work out well for you anymore. Some of you born on the 27th day of the month or in February, the second day of the month, in July or the seventh day of the month. All right, release all the bad things, the bad energy that you think just not, you know, working out well for you anymore in order to welcome new things in your life. All right, and have patience. So the gossip about you is like some of you might release old connection, you release old friendship, you stay away from the people that bring negativity into your life. You also probably just resign from a job, you know. Some of you might not talk again with someone. Someone tried to approach you, but you just release them. You let them go. All right. So that's kind of energy that I see here. And also with patient here, I feel that you're honestly just want to uh, wait your time to get what you want. All right. Waiting patiently, you know, um, and waiting patiently to actually indulge yourself that's also possible all right waiting patiently to indulge yourself in something that you truly truly love all right let's see here please tap me to the energy of group number three what's the gossip about you group number three all right you 
have here. Answers unfold. Keep your mind open and be willing to learn from this experience. But you also have make a change. Embrace growth. Seek new paths and welcome transformation with an open heart. All right, that's interesting. All right. Roots of success. Secure your foundation, fostering growth and stability for a thriving journey ahead. Roots of stability. Ground yourself in what nurtures your being. Establishing a stable base from which love and career can bloom. I feel that some of you might release old job, old boss, old working place, old business, old ideas. You know, there's this release energy. Either you resign or you got fired or you just have to go from that situation, from that office, from that workplace, from that project because you're about to welcome new project. Yes, there's this time in between that and time of the essence, but you kind of have to wait. However, by having that patient and kind of, you know, having that delay of gratification before in indulging yourself in like you know um something that you love you know that's like the roots of stability that's like the roots of success all right that's like the secret of success and actually you know the gossip about you is people see that you're planting your roots you know you start nurturing your roots so not just about from the surface but you also want to dig deep to protect the roots you know to secure your foundation to fostering growth you really care about your growth right now to thrive actually in the journey ahead of you and you make uh, uh, you know some sort of necessary changes around you and truly embrace growth there's this new paths gonna unfold really soon into your life you know you just have to be patient but i'm sure that this path's actually allowing you to enjoy yourself more with the satire and also your deepest desire and the love of your dragon reaches out to you so there is something that being caught into the open you know kind of like uh challenging you to be very honest with yourself you know what is your soul calling you to do what is your soul calling what is your career actually maybe you really care about social justice you really care about environment and it's the time to work on that field you know maybe you really care to work for non-governmental organization not to work for profit but to work for the non-profit and pursue it all right because i see here that the people that pick this group i feel that you know you probably really care about nature social cause social justice and just, you know, something that uh, will allow you to have uh, a balanced life, you know, will allow you to have also relaxed time and not being just dragged with target, with work and just endless obligations, endless chores, all right, endless assignment. And this kind of answers and thought is some some new connection new job new project or just new opportunities to meet new people or new love connection uh, will appear in your life really soon and it's going to challenge you to really open your mind you know to these new possibilities because that's the answer unfold it might not be the one that you usually goes like your type your usual type either it's for a job or romantic connection it might not be your usual type but it's gonna be your answer to the question your answer to the prayers all right your answer to the manifestation do not judge the book by its cover just because it doesn't look flashy fabulous from the outside doesn't mean that it doesn't have value from the inside all right please tap me to the energy of group number three What's the gossip about your group number three? You have crab fins. Number 25. Some of you born on the 25th uh, 25 day of the month. Call on your desires as this is the time to ask and receive. Talking about desires again. All right. This is very powerful. So when you are ready to receive, you will not feel guilty at all to receive it. You're not having that limiting belief. You're not having that, you know, um, 
lack mentality, you know what I mean? Lack mindset. You will feel that you so deserve to receive because that's your deep desire. Call on your desires. This is the time to ask and receive. So the gossip about you is you manifest your desire. All right. Another gossip is you're in the middle of your manifestation. And, you know, people kind of tell that you get what you want or you are someone with high desire to have a better life, to have a big life. All right. Someone that really just want to make it happen. You have a desire to fulfill your own desire. So that's the thing about you. You have a desire to actually fly high, free, like the dragon and being very brave, being very courageous. All right. Please tap me to the energy of group number three. What's the gossip about you, group number three? You have a page of cups. If you are being called to go to group number two, Please watch group number two after this reading. Is the group number two got almost the same card like you? You're gonna get your cup of victory. That's the gossip about you. You're gonna get some sort of cup offering something, offering friendship, um, offering collaboration, offer, offering new experiences. All right, being open minded to that. All right, being open minded to the answers. Wow, this is very strong though. Very strong. You have here 10 of pentacles. Yes. So you truly have a desire to have a secured life, to have financial stability. That's like one of your desires. All right. And you're in the middle of it. And the secret to achieve it is to have patience, not to spend all the money right away, not to indulge, indulge right away, even though sometimes it's okay for you to spend money on yourself, but also have that balance, have that patience before you truly enjoying it to the max in order for you to have that financial stability, because that's also the roots of success success that's the roots of stability that's like the secret of you to have that stability by you know having that patient having that balance in order for you to have um some sort of um you know a secured kind of like a secured lifestyle a secured you know a secured income you know what I mean? A secured resources. That's what I feel about you. But like all eyes on you, all eyes pay attention to you. And they kind of see that that's like one of your uh, most important right now. The fool. Yes. You are in the middle of something new here, but it's still something that is just very new. Maybe you just recognize one of your soul calling. You just really want to do something. You always want to, let's say, you know, get involved in like non-governmental organization, NGO, a volunteer. This is related for you to joining some sort of new movement. You know, if you're being called to do that, you know, you have your own free will to do that. Absolutely. Group number three. What's the gossip about you, group number three? Safe travel 22. Some of you born on the 22nd day of the month. Some of you gonna travel really soon or already book that travel with yourself or with your friends or with your family or loved ones. Absolutely, you're gonna have that fun time. Safe travel. So traveling is on the horizon. You're gonna travel uh, plus minus six months from now. Absolutely, either far or near. Um, doesn't matter, but keep me safe and let me roam far away, but bring me home. Yes, you are a traveler. You're gonna travel really soon plus minus, um, no, not plus minus, sorry, around six months, you know, to seven months. Um, you're gonna go somewhere. Um, yeah study wow number 36 and i feel i feel that you got also 36 patient 36 so you're gonna learn you're gonna study you're gonna learn how to be patient that's the gossip about you. You are learning how to be patient. Some of you are being tested with the circus, the drama, you know, that people try to bring you down or the society or, you know, the situation in, your, in you or surround you or where you live right now. Try to test your patient about something, about your deepest desire and whether you can release it or not. All right. Or whether you are truly attached, having that attachment to that desire. So you learn how to be patient and also learn how to release. 
All right, you learn how to release. Let my mind be clear and strong. Let me study well and long. Some of you, you're pursuing another degree or uh, you will have uh, exam soon or pass a degree or graduate soon. Some of you truly learn something new. You learn new skill from someone new or in the office or related to your hobbies or you truly learn how to be patient to wait for the for the right time you know for the divine timing and you also learn to release that uh the things that you think is so important for you you release that in order to manifest that faster wow all right group number three that's your reading for today please give me a thumbs up please like this video if you love this content please subscribe to the channel and be part of my family if you want to book me for your private reading please click the link in the description box below to book me for your private reading thanks for watching guys and i'll see you in my next video bye bye